This problem is from random variables and distribution function. So here is the problem. A random variable x has the following this probability function. So these are all the x values from 0 till 7 and this is the probability distribution function that is 0, k, 2k, 2k, 3k, k square, 2k square, 7k square plus 1. See first of all we have to determine the value of k. Our next probability of x less than 6, the probability of x greater than or equal to 6, probability of 0 less than x less than 5 and probability of 0 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 4 and this is most important that is probability of x less than or equal to k is greater than half. Find the minimum value of k and again we have to find the mean and the variance. As you know that the fundamental basic thing is the total probability is always equal to 1. Here there are 7 terms here that is probability of uh, sigma x is equal to 0 to 7 probability of x is equal to 1. So these are all the values here so which we have to add. So after adding so how many k squares are there so this is 1 plus 2 k square plus 7 k square total 10 k square and this is 1 plus 2 plus 2 5 6 7 8 and 9 9 k is equal to 1. If I bring this 1 inside see here this will be 10k square plus 9k minus 1 is equal to 0. So, for 9k, I wrote it as 10k minus k. So, after taking k plus 1 as factor and uh, this will be 10k minus 1. So, here k is equal to minus 1 and k is equal to 1 by 10. So, the negative value we don't consider and I consider this k is equal to 1 by 10. So, we got the value of k as 1 by 10. So, after adding all these values and equating it to 1. So, the next thing is probability of x less than 6. So, we have to calculate this one probability of x less than 6. The second question here is probability of x less than 6 is nothing but till 6 then we have to add till 5 that is probability from this probability of x is equal to 0 plus probability of x is equal to 1 plus probability of x is equal to 2, probability of x is equal to 3, probability of x is equal to 4 plus probability of x is equal to 5. So, if I add all these values, so what is probability of x is equal to 0? So, this is 0 plus and see we have to substitute k is equal to 10 here. So, if I substitute 10 here then see after substitution after substituting k is equal to 1 by 10, so these are the values. So, I will add up all these values here. For k is equal to 0, this is 0, this is 1 by 10, this is 2 by 10, this is 2 by 10, this is 3 by 10, See here, till x is equal to 5, it's, need, it's needed. So, there is no need of this value. So, if I take 10 as LCM and this is 1 by 100. So, this will be 1 plus 2 plus 2 plus 3. So, which is equal to this is uh, 5 plus 3. This one is 8 by 10 plus 1 by 100. So, if I take 100 as LCM, this will be 80 plus 1, which is equal to 81 by 100, which is equal to 0 0.81. And the next question here, the third question here is, x greater than or equal to 6. The probability of x greater than or equal to 6. Then what are the values that is probability of x is equal to 6 plus probability of x is equal to 7. For 6 the value here is 2 by this is 2 by 100 and for 7 the value here is 17 by 100. So if I take 100 as LCM then this will be 2 plus 17. So this is 19 by 100 the value here is 0 0.19 therefore the probability of x greater than or equal to 6 is 0 0.19 and see here the next question is the probability of 0 less than x less than 5 see here for probability of 0 less than x less than 5 so what are the chances here that is x is greater than 0 that is probability of x is equal to 1 plus probability of x is equal to 2 plus probability of x is equal to 3 plus probability of x is equal to 4 as x value is less than 
5. So here the values are for x is equal to 1 the value here is 1 by 10 plus 2 by 10 and again this is 2 by 10 for 3 the value here is 2 by 10 for 4 the value here is 3 by 10. Therefore if I take 10 as LCM this will be 1 plus 2 plus 2 plus 3. So this is 8 by 10 the value here is 0 0.8 clear and the next question here is the probability of 0 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 4 for uh, the probability of 0 less than or equal to equal to that is probability of x is equal to 0 plus probability of x is equal to 1 plus probability of x is equal to 2 plus probability of x is equal to 3 plus probability of x is equal to 4 see here what are the values from 0 till 4 see for 0 the value here is 0 this is 1 by 10 this is 2 by 10 this is 2 by 10 till 4 we have to add this is 3 by 10 the value here will be if I take 10 as LCM this will be 1 plus 2 plus 2 plus 3 the value here is 8 by 10 the value here will be this is 0 0.8 and see the next question here is if probability of x less than or equal to k is greater than half, then find the minimum value of k. See for that, what is the minimum value of k for getting the value? See here, this is the question and see, let us check for k is equal to. So, if I k take k is equal to 1 in this equation, then what happens? The probability of x less than or equal to 1 I have to check that is probability of x is equal to 0 plus probability of x is equal to 1. So what are the values for 0? This is 0 and this is 1. This value is 1 by 10 which is equal to 0 0.1. So this is not greater than half that is 0 0.5. So this value is uh, see how I have to write. So this value is not greater than half. So this is uh, 0 0.1. So this is uh, less than 0 0.5. This is less than 0 0.5. And let, next I am taking k is equal to 2. So if I take k is equal to 2, then probability of x less than or equal to 2, which means probability of x is equal to 0 plus probability of x is equal to 1 plus probability of x is equal to 2. So for x is equal to 0, the value here is 0. For 1, this is 1 by 10. And for 2, this is again 2 by 10. The value here is 3 by 10, which is equal to 0 0.3. So which is less than. So this value is less than. 0.5 and next let us check with k is equal to 3 so if I keep k is equal to 3 in this then probability of uh, x less than or equal to t which means probability of x is equal to 0 plus probability of x is equal to 1 plus probability of x is equal to 2 plus probability of x is equal to 3 so if I add all these values till 3 till 3 that is 0 plus 1 by 10 plus 2 by 10 and again 2 by 10 this will be 5 by 10 this is 0 0.5 and this is equal to so this time we got equal to 0 0.5 so we need greater than 0 0.5 next I am checking with k is equal to 4 see here k is equal to 4 See the value, if I keep k is equal to 4 in this, then this will be probability of x less than or equal to 4. So this is probability of x is equal to 0 plus probability of x is equal to 1, probability of x is equal to 2 plus probability of x is equal to 3 plus probability of x is equal to 4. And see all the values I am adding, till 4 I am adding here, that is 0 plus 1 by 10 plus 2 by 10 plus 2 by 10 plus this is 3 by 10. So this value if I take uh, 10 as LCM this will be 1 plus 2 plus 3 and this value is 8 by 10 so which is equal to 0 0.8 and this value is greater than 0 0.5. So this value is greater than half so we got the value which is greater than half. So for what value we got for k is equal to 4 therefore we write this as the minimum therefore we write this as the minimum value of k
the minimum value of k is equal to 4 for which probability of x less than or equal to k is greater than half is k is equal to 4. So, we got the value of k, minimum value, this value of k as 4. If we keep k is equal to 4, we got the result 0 0.8 which is greater than half. For k is equal to 3, we got equal to 0 0.2. For k is equal to 2, we got less than 0. Point. And for k is equal to 1, we got less than. So, we need the value which is greater than half. So, the next thing, the next question here is we have to find the mean. For finding the mean, it is also very simple here. The mean, it is uh, very easy for calculation and all. So, the formula is also very, very clear here according to our uh, formula. We have a formula that probability of i is equal to 0 to 7. This is pi into xi. Just we have to multiply the mean mu is equal to, this is 0 into 0, this is 1 into 1 by 10, this is 2 into, this is 2 by 10, this is 3 into 2 by 10, this is 4 into, this is 3 by 10, this is 5 into 1 by 100, this is 6 into, this is 2 by 100, this is 7 into, this is 17 by 100. Therefore, our mu value will be 0 plus 1 by 10. This is 4 by 10, this is a 6 by 10, this is 12 by 10 and this is 5 by 100 and this is 12 by 100 and this value 7 into 17, this is 119 by 100. Our mu value will be, if I take 10 as LCM here, this will be 1 plus 4 plus 6 plus 12 and if I take 100 as LCM here, this will be, 5 plus 12 plus 119 and see here our mu value will be if I add all these this will be 23 by 10 and if I add all these this is 136 by 100. So mu is equal to if I take 100 as LCM this is 230 plus 136. So the mu value will be 336 by 100. So the mean mu is equal to this is 3.66 and this is how we have to find the value of mean. So this is our mean value and the next question here is we have to find the variance. So for finding the variance this is also so simple. So we got the mean value just keep it aside that is 3.66 is our mean value and according to our uh, problem so we have a formula for a variance that is sigma i is equal to 0 to 7 that is pi into xi square minus this is mu square and see here our sigma square value will be our sigma square variance value will be this is 0 square into 0 plus this is 1 square into 1 by 10. This is 2 square into this is 2 by 10. This is 3 square into again 2 by 10 plus this is 4 square into this value is 3 by 10. 5 square into 1 by 100. This value is a 6 square into 2 by 100 and 7 square into 17 by 100 minus mu square that is 3.66. See here that is 3.66 whole square. So our sigma square value will be the first value will be 0. This is 1 by 10. See here 4 twos are this value is 8 by 10 and 9 twos are this value is 18 by 10 and this value 12 threes are. So this is the value 12 4 square this is 16 into 3 16 3 is 48 by 10 and this is 25 by 100 and this value is 36 into 2 that is 72 by 100 and this value 49 into 17 that is 833 by 100 minus this value is 3 point six six three point six six whole square and see sigma square if i take 10 as lcm for some factors that is 1 plus 8 plus 18 plus 48 and next if i take 100 as lcm this will be 25 plus 72 plus 833 minus this value is uh, 
3.66 whole square and see our sigma square will be so if I add up all these this will be 75 by 10 and this is 930 by 100 minus this value is 13.3956 and see sigma value here if I take 100 as LCM this will be 7, 75 so here why like that so I can I can cancel this one and take 10 as LCM this will be 75 plus 93 minus this is 13.3956 and see sigma square if I add these this is 168 by 10 minus 13.3956 and sigma square is equal to this is 16.8 minus 13.3956 and sigma square value is 3.8 four zero double four so this is nothing but the variance so this is how we have to calculate the variance mean so all the values are very clear here if you go through this video all the values are very very clear here so we got for x less than or equal to x less than six for x less than six we got this value as 0 0.81 and for x greater than this value the greater than or equal to 6 we got this value as a 0 0.19 and see here this value is nothing but 0 0.8 and see this value is again 0 0.8 and we got this minimum value k is equal to 4 and this value is a 3.66 and see the variance value is also 3.4044 3. this is uh, 4044 this is how we have to check, uh, check your values please have a look at this video for one more time if you don't understand so this is the most most important question thank you so much for staying till the end and please subscribe to this channel